Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am about to pop to Sainsbury's. I started doing like a little bit of a series where I was kind of going to my local supermarket, checking out what they had on offer, kind of fashion and homeware wise. But yeah, intrigued to go and see what they've got in there. I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram, people sharing stuff. So I am very, very intrigued. I have just realized that I've made a rookie mistake with the red lip. First time I've decided to wear lipstick in months and months and months. And I just realized I'm gonna be wearing a mask the whole time. So let's hope that this stays up for the duration. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys around with me, show you what they have on offer. And if I get any little bits, I will show you guys at the end of the video. So as soon as I walked into the store, I saw they had lots of different kind of Christmas jumpers to choose from. They were all about 20 pounds and I absolutely loved this kind of cream one with the baubles on it. They had lots of jumpers to choose from, but I also saw they had this really nice cream jumper with this kind of sewn on pearl detail. That was also 20 pounds. I've noticed these kind of teddy bear Borg style coats are very in this season. They had lots to choose from and they were kind of around the 40, 45 pound mark. And they had a variety of different kind of colors, lengths and fits. I also saw this snow jacket, which I absolutely loved, but it also has thermo light technology. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds really cozy. So this was 65 pounds. I loved this faux leather biker jacket as well for £35. I thought it was really, really good quality. I also spotted these roll neck tops. These would make great staples for your closet, really lightweight, and they were only £8.50. I really wish they had matching bottoms to this hoodie, otherwise I would have gotten it, but it was the softest teddy bear style hoodie for £16. I thought these leggings were matching, but they weren't, but they were £16 for this kind of ribbed jogger legging style trouser. Onto the pyjama section, they had quite a few little kind of Christmassy style prints of pyjamas. They ranged generally around the 10 to 12 pound mark for the bottoms, but I was disappointed they didn't seem to have a lot of matching sets. I did see this set though, which was this really long teddy bear hoodie with matching leggings for 18 pounds. And if you're on the hunt for a kind of cozy teddy hoodie, then this is the place to go. They were about 14 pounds. And they also had these super cozy dressing gowns for 15 pounds as well. I have to say this is the biggest variety of slippers I've seen in a long time. There were so many nice kind of faux fur slippers on offer. They kind of ranged anywhere from about six pounds up to 15 pounds, but they seemed really, really good quality. And then onto the homeware section, they had so much nice stuff like this three tier shelf unit with for 30 pounds. And I also spotted this, this would be perfect for a hallway. It's a kind of industrial mirror slash hook system for 18 pounds. And they also had these really nice kind of geometric vases in the gray and in the yellow as well for 15 pounds. I really love this range they had called Reed and Lily. In particular, they do these potpourri jars um, for five pounds, amazing stocking fillers, and they just look really expensive. They had different kind of scents and colors scattered throughout the whole store. I thought these hurricane jars looked really expensive and good quality and also really unique. I was surprised they were only 18 pounds. I also saw these little artichoke heads. They looked expensive and like they were made out of stone and they were actually really lightweight, but super affordable for eight pounds with a matching tea light for three pound 50. I was thinking about getting this vase for my pampas grass actually, because it was only 18 pounds and it was a taller kind of style. I've never noticed this section before, but they had this really nice scent section. Um, so it's split into the different scents and then you can choose your candle, room spray, re-diffusers, anything you want.
They also had some really, really good quality faux plants as well. I love this succulent in the marble pot. Um, and I also love this kind of little aloe vera for £10. Um, that'd be great in a bathroom. I thought these were a cute, subtle, festive option for glassware. They were £4 each. And I also spotted these Nordic coasters for £8. They actually had a lot of kind of Christmassy stuff on offer, like these little Christmas tree bowls for £3.75. I thought these bowls looked really expensive. I love this kind of speckled ceramic look. Those were three pounds. They also had matching plates and mugs, and you could also buy a whole set as well. Again, I was so tempted by these. I thought these looked absolutely stunning. They're nice big pasta bowls for six pounds. Supermarkets are one of my favorite places to go and check out the kind of mugs. They always do really, really nice kind of cute style mugs. I really love this one. Again, it's that kind of speckled ceramic look. Onto the gift section, they had a lot of kind of little alcohol inspired gifts, which I thought were really, really sweet. I love these bottle and bar ones in particular. You get a little bottle of your alcohol of choice and a bar of chocolate as well. They also had a really, really good range of games and quizzes and stuff as well, which is perfect for Christmas. Another great stocking filler would be these little kind of letter mugs, which were on offer for three pounds. In the Christmas section, I actually spotted these. I have one of these tree skirts and they are amazing. And I also spotted these really, really sweet baubles as well, which were three pounds. Right, I have just gotten back. Um, sorry about the rubbish lighting, but I just seem to forget that it gets dark very, very early now. But I picked up quite a few bits. I've got them in my little baggie for life. So I picked up a few bits. Um, overall, the store that I went to, um, it's not like the biggest Sainsbury's, but it's not a small one. Um, there wasn't a lot of women's fashion. There was so much, like so many kids clothes. I couldn't believe it. The kids section was like twice the size of the women's section, which I thought was really bizarre. Um, but the women's section was just a bit blah, but the home section was really, really good. I tried to film as much as possible, but it was quite busy in there. So it does make things quite difficult. So I got a little bit of fashion, food, gifts, homeware stuff, a little bit of a range going on. I will say actually they had loads of really, really good deals. Today is the Thursday before Black Friday, so I don't know if they're Black Friday deals or if they were just general discounts in store, but they had a really, really good um, gift section as well. I did try and film some of it, but there were so many people trying to look at the stuff, but they had loads of discounted gift stuff. So if you're looking for stocking fillers, that kind of stuff, or maybe you're doing Secret Santa this year, definitely go check out Sainsbury's because I was surprised at how many really cute little affordable gifts they had. So first things first, every time I go to the supermarket, I always look at slippers and I always find like the nicest slippers in supermarkets. I got some slippers not that long ago, but they're rubbish. The sole is really thin. They're just not very comfortable. They were like a teddy bear kind of Borg style fabric. I'm just not a fan. I really regret purchasing them but I saw these ones. So these look really similar to the kind of white company um, slippers. They have that kind of crossover oh, design. And these ones feel a lot more cushioned to walk on. They had these in a few different colors. They had a really nice sage green and also a blush pink as well, but I just quite liked the creamy color. I got them in a size medium and they were six pounds and honestly when i saw these i thought they were going to be like at least 15 quid because they just looked like really good quality so if you're on the hunt for slippers definitely go check them out they had so so many to choose from next item i got was this bra um i just kind of wanted uh underwired non-padded everyday kind of bra to chuck on i feel like i just need to stock up on those because i just find them the most comfortable and to be honest, the best place I've ever seen for variety of bras over a double D um, is actually Asda. Um, I have quite a big Asda near me and 
they have so many to choose from but they do have a few double d plus items in sainsbury's i got this in a 34f i definitely need to get remeasured at some point this is not possible at the moment um i think that's my size but i have no idea but i just thought this one looked really cute so it has this kind of silky section here with polka dots on i don't know if you can even see and then a kind of really nice stretchy lacy bit on the top half as well i just thought that looked really really comfortable and it was only eight pounds it's called the comfortable lace full cut bra it said comfortable in the title i just got it but they had loads of other colors and stuff as well and then next up i've been on the hunt for some really nice cozy kind of Christmassy pajamas and I love they have like a lot of um these kind of legging style pajama bottoms more of like a fleecy kind of legging with a cuffed ankle and for me I find them much more comfortable and flattering on my kind of figure have rather than a wide leg pant so I found these ones I will say I was a bit disappointed that Sainsbury seemed to have a lot of kind of loungewear and pajamas but no matching sets so I, I got the bottoms but there was no matching top to it which I was really annoyed about so they're this kind of waffle style fabric in the grey they look like they'd be nice and high-waisted kind of like cozy little pajama bottoms um, they have a really nice little cute bow on them as well and it's this kind of it's a pretty subtle Christmassy print to be honest it's like a little Nordic print and then the bottoms are cuffed so I got these in a size 18 I think yeah a size 18 um, and they were 10 pounds which I thought was pretty good pricing I think I might just try and find a pink top to kind of match this bow that will kind of Go and they can be a nice kind of subtle not necessarily christmas but more of a kind of wintry pajama bottom but i thought they were bargain bucket for 10 quid next up home stuff so i didn't really buy any home stuff because i just don't need anything at the moment there was so much nice stuff in there though they have a lot of kind of nordic style stuff very kind of scandy nordic kind of you know what i mean and don't get me wrong there's so much stuff that I did want to buy but I just don't really need anything right now but one thing I did notice is they had this really great kind of candle scent section so they have all the scents lined up and then you can obviously get room sprays candles um reed diffusers in that kind of scent so I found this scent which is called amber and patchouli I don't know what patchouli is but I love amber as a scent um, so it says oriental spice with a hint of fruit mixed with patchouli leaves. Um, I obviously couldn't smell this in store, so I smelt the candle. But this is a reed diffuser refill. Mm, that smells really, really good. So this was £9.50. But like I said, they do so many different kind of um, scents and stuff. So if you like this scent, then you can buy the candle, the reed diffuser, like literally everything, the room spray. And the packaging on them looks quite nice as well. So if you're looking for gift ideas and yeah, stocking fillers, these would be a really, really good shout. The can, I think the big kind of pillar style candles were four pounds fifty. So yeah, really good present option. And then next up, I'm gonna show you some gift stuff. So I actually have bought all of Steve's Christmas presents, um, but I just keep on seeing stuff and getting it and I should probably stop now. But um, me and Steve, what we've decided to do this year and what we kind of did last year as well is buy a kind of main present and then do little stocking fillers as well. Just so on the day we've got like a few different kind of bits to open up. Um, so I've got him uh, quite a few bits already and I have already got his stocking fillers but I saw these and just thought they were really nice so first up is this one this is a Bayless and Harding um the great British gentleman gin bath and shower gel and to be honest I just really liked the packaging I just thought it looked really really cool so this was five pounds I think it was on offer um it's 750 ml so it's quite a big bottle they did also have gift sets with this kind of um style product as well and then i also found this um i'm a bit confused because i swear this was meant to be on offer but i don't think they applied the discount so it was 10 pounds 
but I think it was meant to be like seven or six or something like that. But anyway, I was thinking about doing this as a stocking filler for Steve, but I think I might just sort of say, look, we'll just sort of have this before Christmas. So it's a pub quiz game. Um, I don't actually know how it works. So there's like a little scorecard in here. 500 challenging questions on everything from sport and pop culture to technology and films. Steve loves quizzes. So I thought this would be a great little thing to do um, for Christmas and just like do it in the evening with a glass of wine. Um, just a fun little activity and obviously if people can't be with their loved ones this Christmas um, then it's you know hello zoom call pub quizzes and then last but not least I couldn't resist picking up a packet of these I've seen these before they are the pigs in blanket flavor crisps they were a pound for a big bag so this saturday we are putting up our christmas tree but we're also just having a bit of a fun kind of christmasy day we're going to watch christmas movies listen to christmas music we've got mince pies we're going to have a roast which is really unusual for us and steve absolutely loves roasts i just can never be bothered to cook them um so we're going to have like a really nice just kind of festive day so i thought we could crack out some pigs in blanket crisps and give those a try and I'm sure Steve is gonna love those. But yeah, overall a pretty successful trip. Um, I hope this has been useful for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.